Hey guys, welcome to George's uh, Dump Trucking and Excavating Blog. Well, we're going to be buying a, a new a piece of machinery for my little business. So, very handy. Uh, those of you who know, uh, I do have a little backhoe. I bought a backhoe tractor, uh, skid steer and such, but uh, I figured it's time to buy an excavator because they're very handy for doing many different projects. And... Uh, those of you who know uh, about backhoes, they're a love-hate machine. They're good for what they're good for, but if you're doing ditching and landscaping stuff uh, or whatever you're doing, uh, you know, the mini you just can't beat you just can't beat a mini excavator. Uh, so I'm gonna try this one out for now, and if I feel like I need to upgrade to a bigger machine later on, well then I can uh, keep this one and then. Uh, rent this one out and then buy a bigger like a 33 or 40 or 57 or whatever um bigger Kubota machine or a different brand or whatever as soon as we make money right <clears throat> so but uh, yeah so this is the one we're buying i'm getting actually a few things with it i'm getting a digging bucket with it and i think it's a uh, 36 inch grading bucket and also another little attachment i'm getting with it too of course if you get the thumb on it too which is very handy uh, no point buying a excavator uh, without a thumb. It's just totally stupid if you do that, because the thumb is very, very handy. And um, I wanted to get uh, the uh, a cab a cab machine, but the problem is, if I want to work on it in my shop, then I have obviously have to take the cab off to stick it in there with a the cab. I can't get in because it's just it would be too tall. So I'm getting a also the open cab is uh, about uh, five to fifteen thousand dollars cheaper so I mean uh, it's either creature comforts or uh, open cab so I chose to go open cab no big deal I mean I'm not gonna be doing much uh, I mean if a guy's really really fussy I mean I guess you could put plexiglass on the sides and add a uh, external heater uh, for doing stuff in this early spring or late late fall keep your hands and feet warm but you know it is what it is but yeah so um i really like the machine because you can expand the tracks out and go in different places that's very appealing to me because i'm kind of be more focused in the tight access kind of excavating so uh, maybe this way it is uh, maybe something later date maybe i want maybe change out the blade and make something a little bit more heavy duty for it um, so you know <clears throat> it is what it is it is what it is so anyways it's about the glare but uh, yeah so I, uh, I hummed and hawed about buying a used mini excavator but the thing is to find a good used one you may as well buy a new one because the price especially here in Canada I don't know about the states, but here in Canada, everything is skyrocket prices. And um, for what it is, uh, a guy just may as well buy a, uh, a new machine if you can afford it. I mean, buying used is fine and everything, but sometimes, especially here in Canada, you're going to be paying as much for, I mean, half the price on a used machine and it's been beat to hell. And you don't have no idea what's wrong with it. As opposed to buying something new, I mean, it has warranty and stuff, and you're the only operator for it, hopefully. And, uh, especially, well, if you have another, another partner or whatever, then obviously they're going to run it too. But if you're the only operator, then the thing will last for a long, long time. Because different operators, um, you know, abuse uh, equipment. So, but anyways. Yeah, but anyways, there's, there's the machine there. So... The price is right. Um, well, the price is right. You remember that show? But um, yeah, so uh, definitely the price. The price is right on this machine, and uh, I'm very familiar with running the smaller excavators. They're pretty handy. So, but yeah, so that's that's what I'm going to buy next. Another another freaking payment, but that's what life is. So, so now. I'll be having, uh, you know, I've got my backhoe, my mini uh, Kubota backhoe, not the mini, but the L3301 uh, Kubota backhoe. 
I had the skid steer and the mini excavator. Of course, I got my other tra my other farm tractor too. But uh, changes are coming here pretty soon, and may not be farming anymore. And I'll be totally focused on my work and uh, running my excavating business. So, anyways, things things to think about and things to do and new adventures coming. So, anyways, thanks for watching my video, and uh, when I bring my machine home, I'll definitely be uh, showing you guys uh, the new machine. Alright, maybe other, thing, other things coming up and upgrades I've done on my uh, my little dump truck. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for those videos. Remember to comment, like, and share my videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to post that in the comments below. Bye now.